Hey, 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 what's up, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? It's Pete Olson, the Montana Silver Stacker. And uh, I have got an unboxing today. Had some silver that came in um, today that I'm excited to show you. And let me just put it up here. By the way, happy Friday. Let me put it up here for you guys to see. And this is, again, one of my favorite series of coins, the ATB coins, the America the Beautiful. Okay, so let me turn this proper way up. <clears throat> okay, look look at that. Okay, this guy's is called the 2010 5 ounce silver ATB. ATB stands for America the Beautiful. Yosemite National Park, California. Now the ATBs guys were started in 2010 by the American Mint, by the US Mint. <clears throat> and five uh, are made, okay? Five different uh, coins every year, and they're named after our parks and national monuments. And of course, everyone knows Yosemite uh, National Park in California. Okay, just these are some of my favorite coins. And what's incredible is, is that the mintage on these things, not just these, but all the ATBs, are so low. Like for instance, <clears throat> the mintage on this is only 26,716 coins. It's a low mintage, guys. It's a low mintage. So what is significant for that? Well, when you have a coin that's made by the U.S. Mint and you have a low mintage, um, it gives it semi-numismatic qualities, especially when you're talking about national parks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that is incredible because what it does is, let me let my dog in. What it does is it, because of those two qualities, low mintage, um, named after the parks, come on in, Annabelle, and um, has great stories behind them, you get those semi-numismatic qualities, <clears throat> and that's very important. So it, it holds its value, and it also appreciates, okay? It's phenomenal, phenomenal. Let's take a look at this again. Sorry for that interruption, guys. Um, they come in these capsules like this. Okay, protective capsules. Um, on the other side, as always, okay, similar to the Washington Quarter featuring the Texas United States of America, Liberty, and God We Trust, and, and Quarter Dollar, okay? And, of course, on the reverse, you guys know... How many of you guys can name what's on there? What's in the background there? The iconic what? That's El Capitan, isn't it? Which rises more than 3,000 feet above the valley floor. And the inscriptions on this side are Yosemite, California, and E Pluribus Unum, and the date. Okay? And the incused edge of this coin is engraved with the weight and purity of the coin. All right? So, um... Uh, Yosemite National Park, just a little history on that, guys, is uh, it's set within California Sierra Nevada mountains. It's famed for its giant, uh, enormous sequoias and for Tunnel View, the iconic vista of towering uh, Bride of Vale Fall and the granite cliffs of El Capitan and Half Dome. In Yosemite Village are shops, restaurants, Yosemite Museum, the Ansel Adams Gallery, offering prints of the photographer's renowned black and white landscapes of the area. So, <clears throat> they started in 2010. We're now starting on 2017. I'm going back and making sure I collect all these. I have random ones throughout all the different years. But guys, this is like the size of a coaster. It's incredible. Look at the size of that thing. Five ounces of pure silver. Semi-numismatic qualities because of um, its low mintage, because of its story, uh, minted by the U.S. Mint, right? And um, so it holds its value, has a premium, and you see actually appreciation. This coin here, when, you, when it first came out, was about $105, I think. It's 200 I, I bought this for $222, 2010. So the 2011s are a little bit... Less in price in 2012, 2013. So as they age, as they get older, the more valuable they become because of the low mintage, right? And and the purity, okay? 0.999 fine silver, all right? So I hope that helps, guys. I hope you love these. 
I would strongly suggest, guys, collecting these. These are phenomenal. They're only going to do well for you financially. <clears throat> They're a phenomenal coin to have um, for all the reasons that we discussed. And can you imagine having all five from every single year? They're supposed to go till 2021. And I read something they may continue the series until 2033. And the fact that it's so awesome that you're collecting coins after all our national monuments and and uh, and parks in the United States. I've got one, I think it's 2014, the Glacier National Park by me here in Kalispell, Montana. So very, very cool. Um, in addition, guys, and again, I hope you enjoy that. If you are looking for a part-time home-based business, I run all of North America for a company called ISN. Take the tour of our link below. Get paid very, very well for simply sharing with others of how to save in silver gold by converting some of their declining dollars into silver and gold assets that arrive back in the customer and rep's hands five to seven days later. Get paid very, very well for that. And if you're looking for a part-time or full-time position with ISN, click on the link below, take the tour, and uh, fill out the survey, and I'll get back in touch with you. Or if you're just looking to be a customer, we have a monthly uh, automatic silver and gold savings program. Um, if you're looking to get on a, a set it and forget it monthly silver and gold savings program where the silver and gold will arrive at your doorstep every month, click on that link below. Okay? Thumbs up. Please share this with family and friends if you think it'd be beneficial to them. If you got something out of this and you think they would get something out of this, uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Feel free to comment below. Just keep all the, the comments positive. Thanks so much, guys. God bless you. God bless the President of the United States, President Trump, and may God bless the United States of America. Thanks so much.